interested in doing business in Nigeria, a good place to start is to use a common sense approach. You might start by asking, where in Nigeria are the top global brands choosing to do business? You might also ask, what is it about this destination that makes for such a compelling case? Sit back and relax while we use the next few minutes to unveil the Cross River State of Spirit to you. Over the last four years, Cross River State has attracted a potential investment portfolio of over 2 billion US dollars. Businesses, including some of the world's foremost corporations, are increasingly choosing Cross River State over other destinations in Nigeria as their preferred investment destination. When we took our time to ask them why they chose Cross River State, here are some recurrent answers we got. They considered Cross River State to be strategically located with a fast-growing economy and a young dynamic workforce. They considered a safe and serene environment in Cross River State to be a key factor. They were all impressed with the level of support the state government was willing to give them. What, what encouraged us to invest in Cross River State? The, the free trade zone in Calabar is a very attractive one to us. Uh, there's adequate uh, seaport access, the roads are in great condition, and we feel as if the free trade zone and the government officials in Cross River State as well as Calabar have been very, very anxious and excited about working with us to make this project happen. The nature of our investment in Cross River State is, is very exciting. Uh, we currently have two factories in Nigeria. Uh, what we plan on doing is consolidating those factories and expanding the scope of processes and services that we offer uh, to the Nigerian market. General Electric, Energy, Healthcare, Transport, investing over 1 billion US dollars over a five-year period. As we've sought to expand our operations in Nigeria, we've kind of looked at a few things. One is the fundamentals of the country, the fundamentals of the region that we're looking at. And uh, we've also looked at the sort of partnerships that we need to be able to execute. And then finally, the sort of teams that we need to be able to actually deliver on our commitment. When we looked at Cross River State, all of those elements came together. Wilma, Asia's leading agribusiness group, investing 200 million US dollars on commercial agriculture in Cross River State. Well, we wanted to expand our uh, palm oil business, you know, and then uh, this place has got the right condition to me to build a workhouse uh, palm oil business. It's got the land, climatic condition, labor and also the market, you know, to build a world-class uh, palm oil business. Excellent, huh? Yeah. It's excellent. The government has been very supportive. Huh? Oh, we come here to develop oil palm plantation, you know, of, of good class standard, you know? Okay, plantation as good as the best in Indonesia, Malaysia. And uh, if we have sufficient area and enough production, we will build a refinery and also downstream uh, manufacturing here. United Cement Company, cement manufacturers, owners of a 2.5 million metric ton cement plant, increasing investment to 3 billion US dollars by 2016. The main reason for considering this investment in Unison has been uh, the availability of raw material. Uh, you know, Cross River State limestone is key in the process uh, 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 of, for manufacturing cement. Uh, so we need at least 50 years uh, when we want to launch a green field, so we have the necessary reserve. That's what was the main, main reason. Also, uh, we are consuming in our process a lot of energy, and the uh, gas availability has been very significant for the investment decision, as we have a, a very strong partnership, our local gas supplier, we provide the gas both for the cement production and for our captive power plant. Cross River location is strategic also, uh, even if it's in the east of the country. The uh, business environment uh, has been uh, very conducive and the state has 
to its credit, this peaceful environment and good security. Here are a few other businesses investing in Cross River State. Dangote Group, Cement, Commodities, Agriculture, largest industrial conglomerate in West Africa, annual revenues in excess of 660 million US dollars. Spa Pack and Shop, the world's foremost retail service and merchandising firm, annual revenue in excess of 73 million US dollars, investing over 20 million US dollars in a mega shopping mall. Lion Steel, designers and manufacturers of equipment for petrochemical mining, water and wastewater industries, investing over 150 million US dollars in steel pipe manufacturing facility. Essa Power, market capitalization of over 1.7 billion US dollars, investing over 700 million US dollars on a 600 megawatts power station. In addition to being one of four states ranked easiest to do business in Nigeria, Cross River State is the number one tourism destination in Nigeria with top-class leisure and entertainment opportunities. In addition to providing a clean, safe and secure environment for investors, the Cross River State Government provides pro-business policies to encourage the growth of business and industry. Strategically located with easy access to international and domestic markets, Cross River State boasts an international airport, 15 minutes drive from the heart of the city, a seaport and a vast road network with easy access to northern and western Nigeria. Cross River also has access to Cameroon via the Trans-African Highway and to Equatorial Guinea, Gabon and other West African countries via local sea routes. With two reputable universities, a college of education, medical colleges and a software incubation center, Cross River boasts a strong workforce of over 1.6 million people. Cross River is home to the Calibre Free Trade Zone. This 100 hectare business park provides capacity for up to 150 companies and is strategically located near the free seaport to reduce transportation costs for investors in the zone. The Calabar Free Trade Zone is one of the zones created by the Nigerian government in Cross River as a result of a feasibility study that was conducted uh, sometime in the, the early 90s by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization that chose Calabar as a unique location for siting a free trade zone. It is unique in the sense there is a seaport very close to the area, there is an airport of international uh, st standing, and there is an enabling environment in terms of the people, the land, the general ambience of the place. In a bid to support the needs of a growing business environment, the government of Cross River State has embarked on some key world-class infrastructure projects, including the Calibre International Convention Center, a 2,000-seater conference and theater facility adjoining the Calibre River, an international hospital, a 105-bed state-of-the-art hospital facility, Tinapa Knowledge City, a 16,000-square-meter IT hub comprising of a software incubation center, a technology park, a software testing lab, an electronic library, a call center, and a number of virtual offices. Cross River State affords a wide range of opportunities for investors, with 1.8 million hectares of arable land and a climate that supports year-round agro-activities. Agriculture remains a hugely attractive sector for investors. The state also has abundant deposits of lime, granite, manganese, gypsum, and barite, amongst other mineral resources. Cross River State has grown to become the foremost tourist destination in Nigeria with a growing reputation across the continent. The state capital is renowned for hosting the annual Calabar Carnival, which attracts tens of thousands of tourists yearly. The state is also home to Nigeria's foremost holiday resort, the Obudu Mountain Resort. This and other assets provide a platform for further investment in the state's tourism sector. Cross River State also affords investment opportunities in oil and gas, infrastructure, power and manufacturing. Investing in Cross River State couldn't be easier. Cross River is the only state in Nigeria with a one-stop investment center. Established in 2008, 
The One Step Investment Center serves to accelerate the takeoff of investment projects in the state. One of such uh, things the state government did is to establish what we call a One Stop Investment Center, uh, which is a business entry facilitation mechanism such that all the needs of investors are met under one roof. The One Stop Investment Center provides authoritative data about the state to aid investors in making informed business decisions. It also helps to facilitate business entry permits and approvals and provides advisory services covering all aspects of business entry in the state. In Cross River State, we don't just invite investors to come in. Through our One Stop Investment Center, we hold the hands of investors and walk every inch of the way with them to ensure their investments take off successfully. What we've tried to do and what we, are, we will keep doing is to make this environment very friendly and very welcoming to investors. If you are considering investing in Nigeria, why not take a cue from General Electric, Wilma, Lion Steel and others? And allow us welcome you to Cross River State, where you will get all the help and support you need to ensure that your investment takes off successfully. For more information, visit www crossriverstate.gov.ng forward slash invest or email invest at crossriverstate.gov.ng